Hi there, I was suggesting you that you purify yourself, you correct yourself because the wisest of the wise, the enlightened one and one of the very famous person from India, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi suggested that be a change what you expect from the universe and the world. So if you are really a very noble person, your thought is always governed by purity of thoughts, that is truth, justice, peace, love and non-violence, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, cooperation, sympathy, understanding, then the poisons and the evils and the devils will have very less effect on your personality. But first of all, you have to check yourself. For example, myself, Pandit Fakir Yogi, Vrindri Yogi, knows the consequences. As I sow, so I shall reap. The law of compensation, the law of karma, the law of action and reaction will always work. So, dear friends, I always remain non-violent, truthful, non-stealing, celibated, never accepting anything from anybody just which I have not earned. Also, my dear friends, I keep my mind very much purified. Thought, word and action are harmonious and synchronized. I always believe in being contented whatever I earn by hard work and always give importance to my perseverance, persistence, commitment, dedication, positive mental attitude and personal initiative. Also, friends, I always abide by the universal laws because we are the child of the universe and we can be only peaceful and prosperous unless we align our forces in the forces of the nature. In that context, I want to tell you something more which has been the really epicenter of the peace, joy, prosperity, health, wealth and happiness. You remember, law not confusion is the dominating principle of the universe. Law not confusion is the dominating principle in the universe. Justice, not injustice, in the soul and substance of life, and righteousness and not corruption, is the molding and moving forces in the spiritual government of the world. And if you really believe in that, and if you are really very wise enough to understand what I am suggesting you, then you understand. If this is true, then you have but to write yourself to find that the universe is right and during the process of putting yourself right you will find that as you alter your thoughts towards things and other people things and other people will alter their thoughts towards you so be yourself be governed by the universal laws and there is no problem for you. There are some miscreants, there are some idiots, there are some fools who will try to disturb your peace of mind. But as Buddha said, if you are really a wise man, just ignore it. But if you are a little less wise, then forgive them. And if you are really belonging to their category, then go for revenge. And you know, enmity can never be wiped by enmity. Enmity can only be wiped by, by friendship. Love is only the solution of every problem. Look at in the international scenario. Zelensky and Putin, they think they are supreme. One is the weakest, but he is the most egoist. Supported by the NATO land forces. Another is really a superpower, but his ignorant, indolent, thoughtless, groveling, arrogance and foolishness and stupidity is keeping his country on a funeral fire. He's burning. Things are drained out. People are killed. More than three, three lakh soldiers of Russia has been killed in the battlefield. And billions of dollars of assets have been burned by bombardment, by tanks and cannons and all these fools. So remember, peace and nothing else except the peace. Peace. Let the peace prevail. Let the love and affection have a firm place in your heart, mind and soul, in your thought. Thank you viewers.